Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, in today's video, I want to share with you how I truly feel after eating animals again. I have been vegan for four years. I had to make a shift, unfortunately. As I said before, I really didn't want to make that shift. But health-wise, I was deteriorating. My digestion was terrible. I had extreme dental problems, overall fatigue, tiredness, many, many issues started popping up after years and years of veganism. In my heart, I always was vegan. In my heart, I wanted to make this diet work so, so bad. I know that many people do not believe me nowadays. They say I'm a shill and I'm a sellout. Sure, a couple of thousand of clicks on YouTube and you become a sellout. It's really hilarious to see how some people tick. You really believe that I'm funded by the egg industry because I ate one egg. You truly believe that I'm funded by the meat industry even though I'm eating fish. It's crazy to see through what kind of mental gymnastics people will go. Anyways, as I said before, in my heart I know why I was vegan and in my heart I know why I am not vegan anymore. For those people that truly care, I will elaborate how I feel eating animals again. For those who cannot keep an open mind and want to make assumptions, want to say I've never been vegan because I'm not vegan anymore, there is no such thing as an ex-vegan, you've been plant-based, sure, no worries, this video isn't for you. When I decided to eat an egg the very first time, it was excruciating, it was terrible. It was one of the hardest things that I've ever done. I know it sounds ridiculous to people that are omnivores, carnivores, never tried veganism. It sounds absolutely insane. How can it be so hard to eat an egg? Now looking back, I understand that I was really indoctrinated. I couldn't break through that dogma. I hated the taste as well. It was just so hard to accept that there could be a possibility for me to need animal products. As a vegan, I was thriving on plants, but only for one, maybe two years. After that, I couldn't accept that fact that I would need an animal to be happy and healthy. It was really, really rough for me. But believe me when I say, it was 10 times tougher when I finally stepped up and said I'm gonna have fish. To this very day, believe me, it is not easy at all. I'm making this video because I know there are vegans out there that want to make that shift health-wise, but they cannot take the guilt. And believe me, to this very day, I'm in Vietnam right now. I'm eating local seafood. When I see those fish just grasping for air, trying to survive, floating in those little aquariums, suffering, they're living out their last moments in absolute agony until they get stabbed in the throat and served to me. They get served to me. I pay those men so I can eat those fish. Again, I fully understand that from an omnivore's perspective, this sounds ridiculous. Get over it, man. It's just a fish. I know. But if you've been vegan for so long, it is still very, very hard to let go of that guilt. Believe it or not, even though my body is telling me in many ways that I feel better now, that I'm healthier, that this is what I should be doing, internally I still have that monologue that is looking for another solution. Maybe I could supplement more DHA and EPA, eat 40 pills. Maybe I should inject B12. Maybe I should eat hemp protein instead of pea protein. Or maybe the ratio was just off. Maybe another mixture. 
maybe more fermented foods, maybe just organic foods. It is not easy, guys. I know, for certain people, it seems not hard at all. They just jump from veganism to carnivory and act like nothing ever happened. All of a sudden, the ethics are out of the window. The NWO diet, right? It's all a big conspiracy. They're out there to get you. They want to kill you with grains. People just jump bored and all of a sudden, the vegan ethics are forgotten. Hence, I understand when people say those people were never really vegan. I was a vegan before I ate vegan. This is my claim. Try to debunk it. When I was a kid, growing up around hunters and butchers, I saw slaughter firsthand. I never liked it. I hated it. This is why I went vegan. But I went vegan after researching the vegan plant-based science. After realizing that I can thrive on plants and I do not need to eat animals, I was relieved. The only reason why I was eating animals back in the day was because I thought we need meat to survive. It is not because I loved the taste of meat, it is not because I hated animals. Quite the opposite. I loved animals more than anything back in the day. I was playing with the dogs, with the pigs, with the chickens and whatnot. I wished I didn't have to eat them. When I read about the vegan science, finally I could be congruent with my own ethics, I thought. This is why I went vegan. But before that, I said to myself, I will go vegan only if this diet is suitable for the human machine, for my body. If the vegan diet isn't suitable for the human species, then this is of course not dietary truth. Then this is playing make-believe. Then I'm not going vegan. That was my thought back then. But as I said, after reading through the studies, I said, hey, I was wrong. This is great. Nobody needs to die. Everybody wins. Animals are happy. I'm even happier. I can thrive on plants. But guys, I'm telling you, after four years on a fully plant-based diet, I have to admit to myself, I have to admit to you, that this diet wasn't sustaining me. This is the truth. And again, I wish it would be different. Do you understand this? Do you understand what I'm saying here? If I could be vegan, I'm talking to the vegans now, I would be vegan. I do not get any pleasure of eating dead animals. I really don't. I don't enjoy the taste of fish. I never really did. If I could live on rice and tofu, I would. I love the taste of plant-based meals. I always did. But after eating those meals, I find myself full of cravings, not satisfied at all. And shortly after, I am facing diarrhea and belly cramps. It doesn't work for me. On top of that, my whole body cramps up if I've been eating vegan for longer than two or three days. I experimented back and forth. Believe me, I am not alright with eating animal products. Therefore, I went back and tried the vegan diet again for three days. But it doesn't work for me. Again, if you have any tips, please post in the comments down below. But guys, as I said, I supplemented all the nutrients and minerals that you could possibly imagine. DHA, EPA from algae, B12, vitamin D, vitamin A and whatnot. I really tried it all. It didn't cut it, unfortunately. Anyways, to cut to the chase and make this video not longer than it needs to be, guys, this video is for the people that are truthfully suffering on a plant-based diet, but ethically they cannot let go. Listen, I know that the vegan message is beautiful. I know that vegans want to share positivity. They want to stop animal suffering. I get it. I understand. 
this is where I'm coming from. But we are animals as well. We cannot promote a message that is damaging people. Guys, you will have many people failing on vegan diets and after that you will face more aggression and more opposition. Even if you read through the plant-based science, I had to learn this the hard way, you will find that they are talking about plant-based diets. 80% plants, the rest is animal products. We should promote a plant-based diet with certain animal foods. May it be pasture-raised eggs or clams, oysters, certain seafood and whatnot. This can be very helpful. A fully plant-based diet though doesn't work for most people. I've seen so many people fail. You have no idea how many vegans reached out to me lately. People are suffering and they're coming out. They're trying to communicate here on YouTube how they've been suffering. They want to clarify that they're not bad people. They really wanted to be vegan in their heart, but their body had another plan. Their body needed certain nutrients that you cannot find in plants. I know that this is hard to understand for vegans. They will just pinpoint to cherry picked studies and say that a vegan diet is suitable for everyone. But people, it clearly isn't. We should be striving for a truthful expression, not a dietary dogma. This is what I'm doing here on this channel. I'm opening up the debate. As I said, I'm starting the Beyond Veganism podcast very, very soon. We are on a pursuit for true health here, for true optimum human nutrition. We're not looking for dogma. If you can sustain yourself 100% plant-based, that is great. Come on the show. Let us know what you do. Or maybe you are following a plant-based diet with certain animal products. Let us know if you thrive. Or maybe you're on the complete opposite spectrum and you are a carnivore. Interesting as well. We all have different ideas, but we cannot push a certain belief system, especially the vegan abolitionists that want to ban meat altogether and they're making people sick on the way. Anyways, guys, this video has been long enough. I hope you can understand where I'm coming from. Many new subscribers here, many old subscribers as well, that are now very disappointed with my path. I want to make very clear that I am coming from an honest place. I'm not a shill, I'm not a sellout, I'm not getting any money for this. I'm expressing my own truth and my own frustration. I was very, very sad and angry initially that the vegan diet failed me. This is why I'm sharing this, because I realized I did everything right on this diet. And if even I fail, then I know for a fact that many, many people will unfortunately face the same issues and that many, many people due to their ethics won't be able to step out of that vegan box. All right, guys, this is it for today. If you like this video, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And as always, guys, much love and peace. Thank you.